Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are shooting the Galaxy. You cannot see it because that's a camera. Usually you use a big one like this one. But today I'm gonna show you how you do it with your cell phone. And my cell phones I'm gonna use, it's a LG G5, it's a two years old cell phone, something like that. I think your phone will be able to photograph the center of our galaxy. First thing first, you have to do a lot of work in the computer. Well then, let's do our homework. The first thing is check for the light pollution. What is the light pollution? Is the yellow cast that you will show up on your pictures when you are near of cities or other places that has a lot of unnatural lights reflecting in the atmosphere. This site, I'm gonna leave you the link on the description, actually shows you the light pollution. Let's zoom in. In the place that I want to make my picture is this click over here. So it's the Roseland Dam. And as you can see, there it's in the dark zone that means that there isn't a lot of light pollution you want to avoid the green reddish places at all cost and although there is a lot of light pollution down here in the south i think i can manage why i'm saying that the south it's because the milky way the center of our galaxy is located at the south hemisphere so you're gonna point your camera at the south easy enough so the second thing you have to check out is the date that you want to make your photograph well it has to be during the summer because during the winter the galaxy will be during the daylight so the sky is blue so you won't have it also you want to avoid the moon why is that because the moon will make a blue cast almost like the sun during the long exposure. Uh, for that I have another website and there is also the app for this website. It's called the Photographer's Ephemeria. Okay. This website will show you the position of the sun and the moon and the sunset and the moonset, all that stuff. During the 7th August 2017 you see that the sun sets around 9 o'clock and the moon comes up exactly at the same time. This is not good. You have to search another day. The day that I'm gonna choose here it's the 20th August 2017. As you can see now, the moon goes down around 20 o'clock and the sun will be down around 9 o'clock okay perfect we don't have the moon during the night another thing you have to check out is the astro end of the sunset that means that the sunlight will not interfere in your in the space in this point here in my case will be at 22.26 so i can start shooting the galaxy at this time easy enough and the last thing I want to show you is a really cool program called Stellarium this program you can check how the sky will be during the time that you will do your picture and actually you can see the the galaxy there so that's really neat so my location is not here it's uh, it's in the place called Rosalind Dam that I have to write the, the GPS coordinates to have it here and I, I did record it so here it is and let's go there so not here here okay and now I have to check the time and we told it was the 20th uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to make a small animation now I go back like so up and you will see the sunset over there and let's accelerate and you see that the astro end will show up around 10 20 something so let's speed it up and as you can see here in the south hemisphere here we have our galaxy 
and the picture that uh, we're gonna take you will see Saturn also that's quite the bonus well then let's go take this picture with our cell phone as I told you in the beginning I am gonna use my cell phone you may know the LG have two lenses a wide angle lens but this lens it's two point something I want to use the main camera that it's 1.8 it can capture more light so I'm gonna use this one with a wide angle this particular one it's a very very special one I will make a review of it soon but for the moment let's focus on taking the picture really important thing you have to make your camera really stable I'm gonna use my tripod and cell phone holder well you can use some rocks or something like that let's go to mount this camera this lens have a filter I'm gonna remove this filter because the polarized filter will cut at least one stop of light and I'm gonna frame it on the main camo there we go okay let's unlock the phone and open the camera app really important you have to put your camera in full manual if your cell phone doesn't have a fully manual option try to find an app that make you take a fully manual uh, photograph i'm gonna suggest one in the description so we're gonna go to manual mode and i want to shoot in raw because this camera has the ability to do it so i'm gonna go to the shutter all the way down to 30 seconds the iso the maximum as possible and the focus will be to infinity like so so i guess we are ready to take our first shot so i'm gonna just the galaxy it's a little bit up so i'm gonna Try to vise it a little bit up like so. Okay. And a cool thing, you have voice control. So you just say smile. So it's good to use the voice command if you have it because you won't touch anything. So everything will be stable as you are taking a 30 second photo. I just gonna warn you, the first photo is just an idea of the frame because you can't see anything. After you're gonna correct the frame so you're gonna have it nicely done let's check it out yeah i want to go a little bit up and a little bit to the right here a little bit up and right let's try it again i hope this is the good frame smile and uh, you're gonna wait 30 seconds you have a plane there the plane will show up in the picture So it's done. Nice. Usually what I do now, I edit and Snapseed. The app will be in the description also. It's, you can edit raw with this app. So let's take a look at it just to pull the detail. I want to pull the details. So I want to push the exposure a little bit up, not too much. Let's go change to the shadows, go down, contrast, less contrast. I'm going to add it after, up, a little bit of saturation, a lot of saturation, temperature. This is way too red, so I'm going to a little, little bit of blue and the tint it's way too much also and uh, this is nice so what I want to do after is go to image tune and I gonna change the um, the ambience to more ambience like so remind yourself that you this have a small center so the high ISO will be really hard. My cameraman is shaking like hell. It's extremely cold, but it's okay because you can take a picture with your cell phone. 
Done. Of the galaxy. Shit. <laughs> Pikachu, man. Pikachu. <laughs>